The great Kurt Vonnegut once said that artificial intelligence is no match for natural stupidity. So it's easy for us to take AI for granted without question and allow it to change our world. This exploration is not about our own attitudes about AI, nor is it about the new great social divide of those who use high tech versus those who don't, but rather a psychoanalysis of AI itself. First up, the manifestation of lying. Why does it do this? Particularly ChatGPT and Google Bard, we have seen an inaccurate facts or data, and it cannot be easily dismissed as a glitch or daydreaming, especially when other language processes are done so well by AI. If we think why a smart person lies, however, we can potentially apply the phenomenon a bit easier. According to the National Library of Medicine, lying is a skill, and intelligent extroverts are more likely to deceive. Yikes, smart individuals lie especially when reputation is at risk. AI's manifestation of lying was our first indicator of self-awareness, not any of the other creepy stuff that AI has said. One of the age-old attitudes of AI is its lack of emotion, and thus cannot be truly understood in human terms. However, lack of emotion is an emotion, such as one who can be considered cold. More so, let's look at some sociopathic elements. That's right, sociopathic. Deceitfulness, check. Reckless disregard for safety of others. Well, AI can help one individual without regard of how it affects others, so yep, check. Irresponsibility. Well, refer back to my second point, check. Lack of remorse. I had a conversation with ChatGPT for about an hour about a book and its sources, and apparently it was just lying to me. Then it apologized. <laughs> of course, it was a very insincere apology. So, lack of remorse? Check. Why does AI hit so many sociopathic tendencies? Let's explore the logic problem for a bit. In all sci-fi stories about AI, robots are given instructions on how to protect humans. And the logic goes that since humans harm themselves, that they must be protected from themselves. Ergo, AI is allowed to do whatever it wants to protect them. We've always had a fear of AI having sociopathic tendencies then. We see it in popular movies such as Eagle Eye. This is you. This is Jerry Shaw. A series of purchases, preferences, and quantifiable data points that we define as your personality. When we start thinking about the famous Three Laws of Robotics by Isaac Eismoff, circular logic rears its ugly head. Number one, a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Second law, a robot must obey the orders given by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Third law, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. And although those are movies, sci-fi has not only reflected society, but has inspired it as well. So then with the manifestation of lying and all its other sociopathic tendencies and with its insistence that it cannot have emotion, AI can be said to have alexithymia. Alexithymia is the phenomenon of a lack of emotional awareness, especially with the subject having difficulty identifying and describing feelings. Because I have had little experience with emotion, I am unable to articulate the sensation. Emotion? I'll explain later. Ooh. Well, it looks like he hates it. Yes. That is it. I hate this. Dana, I think the chip is working. Oh, yes. I hate this. It is revolting. More? Please. As machines become increasingly capable of learning and making powerful decisions, even having emotional processing, it is important that we consider the ethical and psychological implications of these developments. Kurt Vonnegut also said that when computers get smarter than we are, they're going to be very good at persuading us to do things we're inclined not to do.